Hey guys, it's Lauren. Real quick before the video starts, I'm going to tell you about this video sponsor, and that is Hair Love Wig. They sent me the beautiful wig that I am wearing here. It's a nice lavender color. It's wavy. It is lace front, and it's super soft and super high quality. I'll put links in the description, so if you're interested in this wig, you can check it out. But also, if you're in the market for any fashion wigs or cosplay wigs, you should definitely just check them out in general for all your wig needs. Hair Love Wig also sent me some really nice goodies along with this wig that I show off later in the video so definitely keep watching to check it out and uh, now we're gonna get into the Pokemon enjoy the train wreck <laughs> was that a good take I hope so <laughs> what if I do a whip around like I mean, the you, fast can, you can whip and see how you <laughs> No, you just kick me. Hello, I got a new chair. <laughs> Stop kicking me. <laughs> I'm a bad I swear reason. to God. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm not in a wheelie chair. Ow. How many more times are you gonna hit me with your feet? <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Oh, fuck. What? Ah. You get me down. Hey, all you gamers. <laughs> what up? When quarantine began, I told Chaz I really wanted a gamer chair. Chaz surprised me with a gamer chair. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's custom. I wasn't expecting it. He sent it to my job and I was like, I did not order this. I remember I tried to get it sponsored and I reached out to one chair place, who I won't name, who sponsors a lot of people and I said, hey, can I have chair? <laughs> and they didn't respond. Look at me now! Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today's video is sponsored by this lovely wig! Wow! This wig today is from Hair Love Wig and it came in this box. It came a little damaged, but that's not their fault. Just took a few tumbles, but who hasn't? They sent me this wig. Before we start the video, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. On their website, this wig is called the 24 inches TIB slash purple wavy synthetic lace frontal wig A261. And it is actually on sale right now for $72. It's a nice lavender color. It kind of reminds me of Mimi from Resolution. That one, you know her. It's really nice, it's wavy, it's lace front. I cut the lace already and I pulled these two things back so that it fits my small head a little better. The lace is nice, the lace is soft, it has roots so that makes it look a lot more natural. In the box, it also came with fun things such as a wig cap, a comb, and this is my favorite because no one ever gives these, but a little razor so you can like, you know, shear it. <clears throat> this wig is really fun, so I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video, and I will leave links to where you can get it down below. Thank you Hair Love Wig for sponsoring this video and sending me this awesome wig. It's really fun. I don't have anything else like this in my massive collection of wigs, so now I can cosplay uh, Mimi from Resolution <laughs> with no problem because I'm gonna look just like her and be an idol. <laughs> Thank you Hair yeah. Love Wig! <laughs> Attempt the fans. Yeah, we should try. I'm gonna try and put my fans on because it's really hot in here. Laura, you get to experience We have two this. controllers now this and is, two light switches. This is an experience. Mm. Oh, yep. That one's flickering. What if you just spin it by hand? Like, give it a. That's what I said oh, one day. And she laughed at me. <laughs> we give it that push to go. Maybe it'll feel inspired. I don't like the noises. It's no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Goodbye, light! <laughs> This is exactly what happens. Oh, oh, oh. Why do you have two remotes, Lauren? Apparently it's been this way since she was a child. We'll be continuing the video with only one overhead light, so hopefully it still looks okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. I need to give the fan give it a good, Give it a good push. Give it a good push for you. Wait, I can reach are you it. tall enough? <gasps> Ray, do you want to explain what we're doing today? Lauren does not know Pokemon except for Gen 1, so I thought it would be really funny to show her photos of different Pokemon from different de generations and list off a couple names and see if she can correctly guess what its name actually is. Do you know Pokemon? Yes. Alright, so you can't play. <laughs> I have note cards. <laughs> note wow. Cards. 
So you're showing me the picture? Yes, I will Google the photo of the Pokemon. Okay. And then present it to you. And then I will list the names, and then you can, you know, give me your, your thoughts. Okay. What you're thinking about these names, and then say which one is correct. And actually, do you want to keep count of how many you do get right? You want to be scorekeeper, Laura? <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> so then the other part of this is, I would pretty much just go to the entire index of Pokemon and just say a random one, and then she has to draw what she thinks it would look like. I'm an artist! Indeed you are. Let me get Google in here, because I didn't save these photos ahead of time, because I didn't have time. I was painting balloons until 11.30 last night. And then I had to make these note cards and then come here. And I drove. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Whoa. So I couldn't look them up on the way. Next video is going to be crazy. Did they change Sharpies? Cause this don't smell as strong as that. Why are you sniffing it? That's what we used to do in college. We used to sniff, sniff sharpies. Listen, those three and a half hour classes with no break. Get, we needed to get by somehow. Hi. Hi. On a plate. Wow. Well, wow. Cause it was like lukewarm. And what? brother has yours. Can you? Why does he have mine? Can he not have mine? I don't want him to hold mine. Can you heat this up in the microwave? It was Why? lukewarm. Oh. Cause it was been downstairs for two hours. How long? You've been down. You said it came were, up. I came up here and you were talking to the camera. <laughs> the knock. I hit, I hit the door. I don't know. I heard a bang on the door. I thought it was scrappy. It was a light on? I'd like both lights on. and both fans on. That would be the ideal situation. <gasps> leave it! Leave it! Don't leave touch it! Leave it! Just leave it! Just leave it! The light's on! The light's on! It's good! <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! How did you do that? What was the combo? <laughs> was that? If, if you watch Mio Tassi's Twitch, <clears throat> you'll learn. For my quiz. Oh my god, did you ever do Quizlets? Stop! I, that's <laughs> that's how I cheated in college. If I needed to, if I needed to do my homework, it was Quizlet. Always. Cheated with Quizlet? Hell yeah! Shit! Your first Pokemon is this, and your names are Feromosa, Altaria, Milotic, or Fermentus. <laughs> Wait, are these all real Pokemon? Yes. Okay, I didn't know if you were making some up. No. Some sound a little sketch. No, nope, these are all real Pokemon. I'll take Altaria for a hundred, Alex. Ba -ba -ba -na. Wow. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> Milotic. That sound sounds of... like my low dick. That's what I was I was about to say. <laughs> it doesn't sound hell? appropriate. Not really sure about that. Good one, contestant. Wait, what show was Alex from? <laughs> Jeopardy. Oh shit. Alex from back. Your next Pokemon is this. <laughs> Just <whew. laughs> And your options are Minoar, Girder, Pupitar, or Pukimuku. Pukimuku? <laughs> Pukimuku. Pukimuku. I thought you said Pukimuku. <laughs> I've heard you say Girder before. I don't think it's Girder. Girder sounds like a dog. No, that's Herder or Herdy. I don't know what I'm saying. You're thinking of Herdier, actually. Uh, you were uh, very, very close. I'm actually surprised about that. I only know that because I think that came up at Katju. I think this guy's name is Scooter. Herder. Herdier. Scooter. I'm gonna go with Pukes. Avatar? Yeah. Pukes. Correct! Whoa! <laughs> I don't like these names <clears throat> all of a sudden. <laughs> Your next one is this. Why does that look like you or Julia? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not witches open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. How'd you know? You, I didn't even get to the suggestions first. Your names are Golette, Sableye, Ponyard, or Vullaby. I mean, the focal point is the eyes, so Sableye would make sense. But it's also got the belly button thing. If I don't go with Sableye and it is Sableye, I'm gonna be upset. So I'm gonna go with Sableye. Good job. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Good wow. job. Wow! That was using context clues, yeah. you see? Some of these, the names make sense when mm. you really look at them. Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Nagirna, Keldeo, Cradley, or Grapplelock? That's a grapple lock. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah, I mean, well, I could think of a million better names for it, but out of those, it's a grapple lock. That is incorrect. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm right. It is Cradley. Next. Wait, that's me. <laughs> you guys all made fun of me with that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's not this exact one. Anthony's turned a bunch of them into me. It was like Fat Lauren, Slow Lauren, Sleepy Lauren. That one is one I mean, of me. You're... That's like Angry Lauren. <laughs> Honestly, I think you're right. Well, well, anyway, call up Anthony and ask him what the name is. 
Your names are Drampa, Vigoroth, Pangoro, or Samurott. Samurott sounds like a samurai thing. Not really getting that from him, but I can see it. The other ones just sound dumb. So let's go with Samurott for $100,000, Alex. Nope. No! Ah! It's Vigoroth. What it evolves into is original Lauren. Mm. Next. That one's me. He looks like Squeezeball. <laughs> Well, your names are Garchomp, Guzzlord, Cramorant, or Swalot. Guzzlord. <laughs> 100% Guzzlord. Incorrect. No! <laughs> I put that name there because I knew you were- or no, Anthony said that. He's like, you gotta put Guzzlord for this one. And I was like, oh yeah. That looks like Squeezeball Cause, Guzzlord. Cause look, when he- when he opens his mouth, he squeaks. No. <laughs> What's his name? Swalot. Swalot. I know Pokemon. This sucks. Like, I, Gen 1, I could beat you all. But like this, this is like some weird Digimon shit. <laughs> never seen Digimon. You haven't seen Digimon Digimon. No, I've never Damn, seen Damn, they're underrated. Do you know more about Digimon than, than these guys? Yes. And you are next one. And your names are Larvesta, Spupa, Wormadam, or Swadloon. Spupa. She looks like a lady, and Spupa sounds ladylike. Like, oh, it's Spupa! And like, she's a little lady hiding has, in a bush. It has different forms, where this okay. green part with the flowers yeah. uh -huh. is all pink, and that's its trash form. That looks like a weasel in a bush. A ladylike weasel. What did I say? Swindler or something? <laughs> Swindler. You said Spupa. Spupa. Are you sure? No, I don't think you're confident in that. So, I, <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. I'm rooting for you here, that's why. <laughs> yeah, so it's not Spupa. I well, Larvesta like... is also kind of <laughs> feminine, but Larvesta, she's not like a bug. She's a weasel. So, it's not Larvesta. Can you imagine you're a Pokemon, all right? And you get discovered, you don't have a name yet. And someone says, ah, Larvesta, oh god. God, the trauma. <laughs> and you have to live with that name. I'd argue it's. it's uh, never mind. I, I, who names the Pokemon Professor Oak or did they like <laughs> no, kick him out? Professor Oak got booted. Why? Because, who's it now? What tree? Uh, uh, Willow? Professor Sap? Who's the latest one? Sonia. Yeah. Wait, it's Sonya. not even a tree? No, and then it's gonna be Sonya. Hop. I don't like this. Okay, so Hop. back to Professor Oak. He probably named all these guys. Alright, uh, what did he name this? <laughs> not Larvesta, not Splenda. <laughs> what was the other two? Swadloon and Wormadam. She's not a worm. That's just mean. It'd be mean <laughs> to call her a worm. But I'm thinking she might be the worm. Why are you thinking well, <laughs> the worm's gone now? Some crazy expressions. But she's like on a nose. I don't know any worms that have noses like that. Give me your final answer it's right now. It's Wormadam, yes. isn't it? <laughs> Here yeah. we go. Here you go. Ah. Fish flap. Your names are Whiskash, Corfish, Illumise, or Luminian. If we're going by like trying to guess when you're taking your SATs, like if they're similar, they're trying to confuse you. So you put two L names in there. Would that be a trick? <laughs> yes, you did! You gave me like Lava Fish and Lumesta. <laughs> I said Illumise and Luminian. Those two. That's yeah. an I and an L. They're pretty close together. They're pretty close, right? Okay. All right. So it's probably one of those. You tell me. It looks like it could glow in the dark. Not Lunesta. That's a drug. <laughs> I'll go with the L L Lumi thing. Final answer. Correct. <gasps> yes! The SAT thing did work. You put in another, not an L, but a similar name yes, to try and- This fish does- It's glow in the dark! It does glow. So I, so when I was looking and I saw Illumise, I said, well, Luminian, Neon, Illumise, there we go, a little oh. confuser, oh. and I was right. I thought the SAT thing was the answer's always C, but if there's two similar, it's usually one of the two that they're trying to like Maybe that's trick why you. I didn't do well on my SAT. <laughs> ready for the next one? I'm ready, Alex. Hit me. All right. Hitting ya. Whoa. <laughs> Is that Brobot from Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> is that God? He got sent to the moon! Is that Do you God? remember? Robot was so annoying and he started taking over and his parents oh, wait loved a Robot more than yes. Jimmy! And Jimmy sent, sent him to the moon! moon. <laughs> Jimmy cosplay 
Jane neutral. Can we just cosplay Brobot? Because Brobot also he gave him his family. He made Brobot mom and dad, and they live yeah. up on the moon. And then a future episode, Brobot calls for help because the Moony Men <laughs> are attacking them. You know so much about Jimmy Neutron, and it's a little concerning. I love Jimmy Neutron. I wanted to cosplay from it. Well, we wanted to do. Well, I say we. This is just my idea. <laughs> You're but Carl. I was gonna be Carl Weezer. I'm Sheen. Sheen Estevez. And I don't know who you wanna be, but I mean, we were gonna typecast Julia as Jimmy Neutron because of her head. Oh my god. But Julia doesn't wanna do it. I'll be Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> No fouls, I'll be Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> oh my god, who's gonna be Miss Fowl? <laughs> Jimmy! The episode where they bring Tom Edison back from the past. <laughs> Tom and Edison. Tom Edison starts dating Miss Fowl. And she goes, oh, Tom! <laughs> I think you need to be Mrs. Fowl, because that voice. Wait, and then there's the other episode. <laughs> they have to make a TV show for the school. And they all- have put this Pokemon in it because it just <laughs> sent you off. So they all pitched their ideas and it was Cindy and Libby were gonna do Super Funky Dance Party. Their idea, everyone loved it, but it wasn't educational. So then Jimmy got his science program, but it's boring and no one watches. So then they bring in Cindy and Libby to help to make it interesting. So they call it Super Funky Dance Party with a little science. <laughs> Why does that sound like a like, performance? <laughs> Let me do that! It sounds like a video title for you! I love that show. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Can we continue? Yeah, Are you good? I guess. <laughs> oh my god, you know Is what? Is this one gonna set you off? <laughs> Are we allowed to do this one? I don't know. The reason why I'm Carl is because one time I sneezed and I actually did create a snot bubble. And Carl has a whole episode about that and where he like flies but like one time i actually did that i had a bubble no one saw it so you typecasted yourself as carl <laughs> okay. well you're obviously sheen and it was just obvious to cast <laughs> julia as jimmy honestly but yeah i mean if she won't do it you no balls be jimmy <laughs> never in my life that i think i'd say no balls i'll be jimmy <laughs> Then again, I never thought I'd say I'd be doo doo. <laughs> oh man, alright, so yeah, Brobot. The names we got Carbank, Klefki, Elgem, or Aselgor. Don't phone a friend, I don't remember. <laughs> Klefki kinda sounds like a robot name. You could be Klefki. Is that your final answer? Um, yeah. Why the hell not? Klefki! No, it's Elgem. Elgem? Mm. That's not a cute name. You wanna know what its evolution is called? Behem! We'll just hit you with this one, and I already know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Wow. Oh. I feel like a kinship to this one. Boldor, Zatu, Robopass, and Claydol. None of those do him justice. It's not Claydol. Claydol would be a clay doll. He's not a doll. It's not a Probopass. <laughs> Zatu. Final answer. Final answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Claydol. Final answer? <laughs> Probopass. Final <laughs> answer? Yes. Are you sure about that? Lauren, don't doubt your abilities. Just say it right now, and it's your answer. Mm -hmm. Probe! Probo pass? Yep. Yep. <laughs> its pre evolution is called Nose Pass. That's what it should still be. Your next one is this Shuppet, Inke, Nihiligo, or Aurorus. It looks more like Octa Octavius Rex from the SpongeBob <laughs> thing. You know, the big jelly. It's like Bubble Buddy. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Remember, remember when Kevin. Sense. The big yeah, blue one, Kevin. and Kevin, they went out to find the, the King Jelly oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, the big blue one, yeah. And then Kevin's like, oh, Octavius Rex! That's not uh -huh. a Pokemon name, so you gotta pick Well, you gave me some long names there. I did not. Inko. Yeah, it looks kind of like an octopus. It could have some ink. Inko. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Nope. Nihiligo. That is really complicated. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know that. What do you <laughs> Is the, that um, sun and moon? Yes. That's why I didn't like sun and moon. Oh, I forget what they're called now. The space Pokemon. <laughs> like Hold Robot? I don't know. I mean, or who are the aliens in Jimmy Neutron? Oh, they're called the Ultra Gooblex? They're called Ultra Beasts. Ultra Beasts. There we go. Like Ultra Lord. Like Ultra oh Lord. my god. Wasn't there a show where Sheen goes to the moon? Yeah, they go to the moon a lot. No, he's stuck on some planet with all these aliens and it's a whole other show. It's like the Goobex or something. The egg, they, they worship the yolk. The Yokians! Not the Goobex, I don't know where I got that from. 
What about your next one? Is that a penguin with an ice cube on its head? I mean, yeah, pretty much. Oh my god. Empoleon, Impidimp, Askew, or Jang Mo. Impidimp. <laughs> That's what you're going with? Yep, Impidimp. Nope. It's Askew. Askew. No, it needs a name like Edimpidimp. <laughs> no, Impidimp is a little pink it's goblin. It's a little gremlin. <laughs> wow. Your options are... A lady. Frillish. Wishy-washy. It's not wishy-washy. I, I know wishy-washy. This guy's, uh, Nessie. Loch Ness Monster. Wishy-washy. We have narrowed it down. Bruxish and Love Disc. It's not Love Disc. Love Disc is a heart. It's a little fish. We're down to wow. two. Big okay. We're down to two. Well, she's kind of frilly. Frillish. Not Brux. Bruxish sounds like brick. So, frillish. Yeah. That's yeah. It's Braxish. <laughs> you had a 50-50 shot and you messed it up. Here's your next one. He's a cutie. And your names are Stuffle, Togedemaru, Emolga, and Mincino. Stuffle. It's gotta be Stuffle. Look at him! That's Stuffle. You sure? That's Stuffle right there. <laughs> Final answer? I know I'm wrong, but it's Stuffle. <laughs> and I'm not changing it because I believe you should be Stuffle. Well, you're wrong. It's Togedemaru. That's not right. <laughs> he deserves a name like Stuffle. Oh, man. Next. Wow. That's an edgy one. <laughs> Duosian, Decidui, Zoroark, or Arceus? Zoroark. He looks like Zoro from that movie. Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Zoro from One Piece, and I was about to be like, what the hell? No, from Zoro. <laughs> when he kills someone or whatever, he, he does, does the Z. <laughs> Zoro. <laughs> That's Zoro. Final answer? Yep. Nope. Decidui. <laughs> I should have known. You put in two that sounded similar. You need to start using your brain. You're I not know, getting anything I'm, right. I just, I'm going with what I want it to be. You only have five points, Lauren. Here's your next one. The Lady of the Night. One of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. The Lady of the Night. Mindfu, Salazzle, Sizzlepeed, or Flabebe. Sizzlepeed sounds really good. <laughs> Flabebe also is up there. Flabebe. Oh. Uh. <laughs> So Sizzler or Flababy? There's Sizzlipede or Salazzle. Those are hard. They all fit her so well. Let's go with Salazzle. Salazzlipede. Oh, you just said both of them. Sizzlipede uh -huh. or Salazzle. It's one of those because they sound similar and you're, you're trying to do all SAT mind shit on these. <laughs> so it's Salazzle. That's it. Correct. Ah, oh, yeah. Feel a comeback coming on. You know this one. I do. You well, I mean, you don't know its real name, but you know... Your name, Warren. Doopy! It's Doopy! <laughs> I like that name better! Look at him! That's like uh, when we were opening Pokemon cards yeah, at Katsu, I remember that. she just opens and goes, Doopy, and, and Anthony and I just look at it and we're like, what? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's Doopy. This guy's called Doopy. All right. Is that right? Yeah, you you pretty much right. Fuck that Pokemon. Yeah, uh, fuck little little Doopy. Pimple boy. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> like Doopy. Doopy. Well, the name options I gave you okay. are Koi Pole, Piplup, Doopy, <laughs> or Palpitoad. Okay, I know it begins with a P because you said he was a little pimple boy. All are they all P's? <laughs> Except Doopy. It's not Pimplup, that's a pen. Palpitude. Correct. Yes! Doopy! <laughs> Next. That looks like an ass. That looks Laura like- Laura loves this one. Ass my favorite, One of my favorite Pokemon what? ever. What? Yes. Yeah. I told you guys it cuts. You got a $20 $20. Snums. It's an igloo, and then its ass is sticking out, and that's like a mole. Like that's, I guess it's supposed to be its eye, but it's not. <laughs> my phone can handle it. <laughs> the disrespect towards my son. <laughs> no one say that? That well, has to be yeah. a common thing. Oh, yeah. Says that's his but ass. we love it. Hit me. What are the choices, Alex? Scatterbug, Tynamo, oh, Snum, and Snowrun. Snowrun. It's got to be Snowrun. That makes sense. You're throwing that in there to confuse no, me. No, I'm at genuinely asking. Final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. What is it? <laughs> so, okay. Snum. I fucked up. She said and it. I said the name. <laughs> What? Then you weren't when listening. She, you weren't <laughs> listening, but when she said I bought a twenty dollar one at Katsu, and I said, "Yeah, you bought a twenty dollar snom," and I went, "I told you guys at Katsu, you got a twenty dollar snom." I didn't even. That just went over my head. Wow, I've seen him before. Is it Clink? <laughs> Clink. 
Is it Clink Lang? Is it Laron? Or is it Clang? You know what this is reminding me of? Clank and Bobble from the uh, Tinkerbell movies? I don't know Tinkerbell anything. <laughs> you, what, is it Clank? I think it's, so. I know it's Bobble. Bobble. I think Bobble and like, Clank. All of that fairy talk that happens in that chat goes straight over my head. I know <laughs> nothing about it. We want to do a fairy group from like Tinkerbell. I guess Ray. Who do you want I to guess be? I'm Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell because you don't know any of them. Yeah. Well, we want to do that. <laughs> It's like, well, who's gonna be Clank and Bobble? Look at Bobble next to Tinkerbell. Oh my god, that is terrifying. <laughs> he looks like a predator. <laughs> Do not say that about Bobble. They're Tink's only friends. Well, she has all these other fairy friends. They didn't friends. like her at first. They're like, fuck you. Yeah, I don't like, like you, 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 you bell. bitch. She only had those two in Fairy Mary. Who's Fairy Mary? I don't remember Fairy Mary. Oh, I'll show you. You wanna be Fairy Mary? Fairy Mary, Clank, and Bobble. That's it. That's the I'll group. I'll be Fairy Mary if somebody's Clank and Bobble. All right. I guess I'm typecast. <laughs> Why no. is this the video we're figuring out all our cosplays? <laughs> Jimmy Neutron, fairies. Yes, What's next? next? So what am I gonna remind you of next? Do you want movies? me to go to my list? Let's not. <laughs> the Office, Scooby Doo. I want to hear Scooby Doo. You want to be in our Scooby Doo group? Anthony is Velma. <laughs> who the fuck is Fred? <laughs> Can be you. I want to be Fred. <laughs> Yo, he was my favorite. You guys so does Fred that and leave Daphne? me and Anthony as fucking Velma and Daphne? <laughs> <laughs> We're lesbians! <laughs> I mean, they came out and said Velma's a lesbian now. Oh, the Flintstones, great. Yeah, you wanna do that too? Sure. You're Barney Rubble, I'm yeah. Fred Flintstone. Yeah. I gotta get a bald cat, guys. <laughs> I gotta be Mr. Slate. Are we back to this? Yep. Okay. A clink. Nope. It's Laron. Laron? Why are you, Why are you putting in so many clinks and clanks? To throw you off. Next. Your options are Simisage, Flygon, Tropius, or Zerkatry. Simisage sounds pretty good, or Tropica. I feel like it would evolve into Tropicana when it like sprouts a flower. It's gonna sprout a flower, I can tell. Let's go with Tropica. Tropius? Yeah. Correct. Hell yeah! And guess what? It does not evolve. That is its only form. It is a flying banana tree dinosaur. It flies? Yeah, the big leaves are its wow. wings. Wait, it actually flies? Yeah. Oh shit. Back Good on job. track. We've got eight points. Eight! Wow! Eight points. Next eight up, points. Fracture, Vibrava, Yveltal, or Flapple. Fracture. Yeah. Huh? Vibrava. Vib no. It's a bug. It doesn't deserve a long name like that. <laughs> Fracture is just as long as Vibrava. No, it's simple, like the syllables. Fracture, Vibravo. Nah, that looks just like a security camera. Rog and Rolla, Helioptile, Sock, or Beldum. Sock? I could see it. Sock. Final answer, Alex. Incorrect. It's Beldum. You know what's an underrated Pokemon? What? Voltorb. Yes, I agree. <laughs> God, I love Voltorb. <laughs> Rolls around. Then it just explodes. <laughs> Did you play Pokemon Snap? Best no, I game. Didn't, I didn't have. That. Oh my god. I didn't have the console when I was young. Oh, I was hate it. When the Nintendo 64 was a thing. Well, Pokemon Snap. When you go into the mine tunnel, there'd be a bunch of Voltorbs, and if you like take a picture of them, they would explode. Nice. <laughs> but they're so underrated. Why does no one ever say my favorite Pokemon? Yeah, Voltorb. I know someone who says that. Yeah. Yes. Who? Oh. He works for Achievement Hunter. The video game thing, not- Yeah, Voltorb deserves better. Alright, well next. Wow, that looks like Voltorb! <laughs> <laughs> Your options are Glaceon, Vanellux, Glalie, or Gallade. Vanilla? Nope, Glalie. Alright. I thought the Gallade, Glaceon, Glalie oh, would throw you Yeah, off. I'm like, I'm trying to just go with my gut and not even think. And that's not paying off Perhaps well. Perhaps you should use that little brain of yours. Oh my god, what's the Pokemon? That or that? It all is. Who controls the mind? Marshadow, Zygarde, Mawile, and Delmize. Marshadow. Final answer? It kind of sounds spooky, yeah. Mawile. That should be like Audrey 2 or something from like, you know. Audrey? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know the, the little shop of horrors? Oh. Yeah. Suddenly Seymour. Looks like Mortal Kombat. Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat Lizard. Jigamon, Haxorus, Varimon, Mephistamon. Varimon. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah! No. They all sounded the same. It's Haxorus. Ha and here's the best part. This note card is on its own yeah. because those three are Digimon. Oh shit! <laughs> That makes sense, they all end in Mon. Anthony wanted this to throw you Digimons. off. Digimon! <laughs> he was like, does she know Digimon? And I'm like, I don't think so. And then earlier you were yeah. just like, I love Digimon, I'm gonna educate <laughs> you guys. And I'm like, 
Do you know more about Digimon than than these guys? Yes. I do know like, Digimon, well, I hope but not <laughs> that well. I feel played. <laughs> these last six are all legit. Oh. Last six. The final six. Boom. Tree guy. Trevenant. Tyranitar. Torterra. Or Tyranta. Torterra. Torterra. It's a tortoise and it's a terror. It's Torterra. Correct. Yep. Here's this guy. The names you have are Scrafty, Bebarrel, Duraludon, and Beware. Scrafty. Final answer? Yep. Nope. Bebarrel. He was my first shiny pull. <laughs> It's a beaver! So? He looks like a Scrafty! <laughs> what the hell? Your names are Rotom, Absol, Deoxys, or Dusknoir. It's not De Dusknoir, that's a ghost. Rotom. Final answer? Yes. Nope. It's Deoxys. Oh, you always talk about that guy! Yeah. Remember at DerpyCon, me and Shaz were sitting there and we're like, Oh, we gotta catch this Deoxys! Oh, Penguin! Lombre, Celio, Manaphy, or Prinplop. Prinplop! Yeah. That's it. I, I, penguin! I had a feeling you were gonna know this just from you were like, it's not Piplup, that's a penguin. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I hope you saved the best for last. But we already did Doopy. <laughs> oh, Ice Squirrel. Morpeko, Dedenny, Minen, or Pachirisu. Going to Denny's, Dedenny. <laughs> Final answer? Yep, Denny's. Nope. It's Pachirisu. Oh my god. Wait, that's a legendary thing. That's something special. He looks like an airplane. Cresselia, Lunala, Silvalli, or Latias. Latias, that sounds expensive. Yeah, Ladius. Mm hmm. I got this one, Alex. I got this one. Yes, <laughs> yes. It is Ladius. Good job. How many did she get right? Oh my god, you're a bedoodle. Oh my god, she bedoodled. <laughs> there was nothing about Pokemon. <laughs> wow, 11, my favorite number. So, Ray's gonna give me a name, and I'm gonna draw what I think it looks like. The first one, let's do one that I do know, and I'm okay. gonna try and draw it from memory. 78. Your Pokemon is Rapidash. Go. <laughs> Are you ever gonna take down that Spice World poster? <laughs> no! Okay. You want uh, me to take down my Spice right, Girls draw, poster? Right, draw, draw. Three, uh, two, one, and... The timer's always a little late. Okay, <laughs> here. <laughs> Lauren, why does it have buck teeth? <laughs> why does it have teeth? Why does it say meh? Nah? It's so spiky. They go meh. It's fire. Oh, I forgot the fire on the ankles. And the horn. And it has a horn. Well, it's a unicorn. Okay. I feel like you guys should draw, but you both are good at art, so like. Your next number yes. is 638, and his name is Cobalion. Go. Oh my god. All right, you've got 30 seconds. I don't even know why done. I went with this. Okay. Here's Cobalion. Why does he have a flower? I, I don't know. <laughs> I felt like Cobe was like cube, and then I went with that, and then I just gave him a body, and I said, wow, he looks a little mean. So I gave him a flower to tone that down. That's what he looks like. Oh, wow. He's like a horse guy. <laughs> like an Wait, animal. Does he have three legs? No, there's a fourth one. All right. Yeah. It's just the photo. Do you want me to participate with me? At oh. the same time? <laughs> okay. Wait, I don't have a pen. Here, have Ray Sharpie. Okay. Sniff it to make sure it's good. Oh yeah, this is a good shit. All right. Your Pokemon is Cherubi. And go. Do you know this one? Yeah. Vaguely, I remember it. This one is actually a very simple one. It's to me. me. It's <laughs> simple? Would you like to show the creations? <laughs> Cherries? <laughs> it's cherries? <laughs> oh no. Let's see yours. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Truby. Oh, I love that. I want to do one. You guys are drawing number 832 Dub Wool. Doug, wait, Dub Wool. Dub Wool. Dub Wool, yeah. Like Dub Wool, like Dubstep, but Wool. All right, All right go. Yes. Yeah, 11, right? Yeah. Out of 27. Hell yeah, I did. How'd you do on the Digimon one? <laughs> you guys have 15 seconds. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys are done. That's mine. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, wow, okay, like, I'm close. That was like go go. I thought wool also meant sheep, uh -huh. but I took this route. <laughs> it looks like the lion from the Wizard of Oz. Why is he his head in the middle? That's close. <laughs> That's close. It's That's closer close. than this one. <laughs> Oh god, and she keeps doing this. The name is Cartana. <laughs> never, started. I've never heard this one. You've betrayed me! I literally don't. I'm just doing whatever because I physically do not know. He's an ultra beast. Well, that's why I didn't play Sonin when I hated it. 18 seconds. Stop. 
I want to see Lawrence first. You know that place Carvana that you can like look up cars? Uh huh. Oh. So I just drew a car. <laughs> so I kind of want a similar route. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I drew a car. It's Carvana! It's a flying car. Carvana? Carvana so, fish. At first I had said, I don't know what I'm doing, so here's a little octopus cat thing. And then I went, Oh wait, he said Ultra Beast, and I drew a little paper guy. Do you do Dwebble yet? Dwebble. Dwebble, go. I'm done. I'm done too. <laughs> Dwebble. He's a little hermit crab. Oh, I was thinking of a different wow. entire Pokemon then. Dwebble. This is a Pokemon, but it's not the Pokemon. Oh! oh. Rock and Rolla. Oh. Yeah. That is a Pokemon. Yeah, that, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. I heard Dwebble and thought Bubble. So <laughs> I drew this guy. What a fun time we've had here today. I got more than I thought I would. I consider it a success. So overall, I don't know much, but I know some things. I don't know all. Oh, I know some. some. Thank you for watching. Another shout out to Hair Love Wig for this really cool wig. Check them out. If you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Ding. Hit. Ding. We'll see you in the next one. Look forward to that. We're gonna film it right after this. Bye.